I like to introduce this machine, which is a UV8 vacuum pump made by Pneumofre. It's a rotary vane unit, which is able to evacuate water vapor in considerable quantities, up to 32 kilos of water per hour. The machine is in operation. It's running at 120 millibar absolute, which corresponds to 88% vacuum. And we will show now practically how by putting water inside the machine, the same will exit the machine exhaust as vapor. Now, as mentioned, the unit is running at 120 millibar residual and uh, the temperature of the unit is 120, 110 degrees Celsius so that the water will not create an emulsion inside the machine but remain in vapor state. Curiously, this 11 kilowatt nominal power machine does only absorb about 8.8 .8 kilowatt so that the electrical motor has important safety factors considered. The unit is completely air-cooled and it can also be air-cooled in tropical countries. We can have a setup for up to 55 degrees Celsius environmental temperature and still keep the air cooling instead of the water cooling. Now, inside the machine, we have uh, everything it takes to have the machine ready to use. It is a completely tested and uh, solid unit. I show you now I put the uh, water inside and how the vapor will come out. You see the water goes in in liquid state and comes out in uh, gas state. Again, because this machine is running above the boiling temperature of water, and the unit can run like this for decades without any trouble, as it has been designed and tested in many applications exactly for the drying process. If you look inside the machine, you can easily take the panels away. You see the inlet filter, which is quite wet. The water level actually is exactly here, and the pipe is very cold, the experts will understand. The pipe goes straight into the air end, which is a rotary vane air end. Here, we have the direct coupling with the electrical motor. 11 kilowatt electrical motor running at only about 9 kilowatt and the mixture of oil and air will now exit the rotary vane air end and enter the oil separator. We have a very large oil separation cartridge here so that the exhaust which we see coming out with vapor is uh, very clean. Now the machine is lubricated and uh, needs uh, also a cooling, so the oil is cooled by means of an air-cooled uh, cooler. The machine can obviously also be water-cooled upon request, but special is for us to deliver also tropical countries with uh, units which can run with air cooling. UV8 H in operation, 500 cubic meters per hour capacity, 30 kilos of water evacuated per hour. But we also have the UV50, which is a much larger machine, six times as big, 3,000 cubic meters per hour capacity, also rotary vane, lubricated, air cooled, single stage down to one millibar. And this machine is used around the world for the purpose of pipeline drying considering the large volumes to be dried. It's a unique sales proposal. The UV50 is the world's largest rotary vane, air-cooled, single-stage machine. This special feature of the UVH vacuum pump cannot be found in competing technologies. Customers are found in the food industry, both for the processing and the packaging of food, we talk about degassing in pasta factories, uh, different extruders, freeze drying, vacuum cooling, bottle, 
bottling or cheese packaging, like also sliced meat packaging. But still, the evacuation of water is found also in chemical industry, where we have to make sure that polymers or granulate is completely dry. And also in the petrochemical industry, where long pipelines, intercontinental, transatlantic pipelines need to be evacuated so they're completely dry and ready for the gas up process. Now imagine putting these amounts of water inside a, a screw vacuum pump or a compact vacuum pump with plastic veins. They would not resist for longer than a very short period. Our idea is to make long-lasting, reliable, durable equipment and to have units available to execute all the processes I mentioned before. Now screw pumps, uh, liquid ring pumps, stroll pumps, uh, rotary piston pumps, all kinds of different pumps will not be able to evacuate as much water as we showed here, especially in the size uh, UV50. Now the maintenance of uh, our UVH pumps is very easy. It can be done on site by the operators, by the customers themselves. We talk about three filters to change oil change once a year, 8,000 hours. We have a special oil for food applications, NSF H1 category. And it can also be designed the machine for very sturdy environment, sturdy applications where the environment is very tough, rather than different color or even for CIP cleaning place applications in the food industry.